13 reasons why affiliate marketing is the perfect business for you to start. Now I'm going to break this up into two videos actually because I really want to go into some valuable in-depth knowledge to share with you to really help you out with why this is such a good, biz good business to begin. So to make that actually happen, I'm going to go to a screen share, okay? I'm still with you, don't get me wrong but I'm gonna to go to a screen share where I've actually got some notes so I can kind of break it down a little bit further for you, give you a bit more insight than usual, okay? But I am here, all right? Don't worry about it. Take care, I'll see you in the screen share. All right, so welcome now to the 13 whys. Affiliate marketing is the best, first business for beginners, okay? Now, I told you we've come to a screen share. I hope you don't mind being here, but I could just feel like I could get more information across by having this screen to be able to share with you, okay? So this is actually part one where we're going to go through reasons one through seven, and I'll go through eight to 13 in the next video, in part two of this video, okay? Because I didn't want to drag it on too long where I'm boring the hell out of you, but if you find this super, super valuable, then you can always come back and watch part two, okay? You know I'm here for you. All right, so let's get stuck into this stuff. So the very first reason is no inventory, right? This is a big one for me because you can sign up to affiliate uh, programs, you can produce content, you can start making sales, and then you can repeat the process. You don't have to stock anything, all right? Now, I know I know the reason why this is so important for me is because I did drop shipping once, in a, once upon a time. And the reason I got into drop shipping is because to, is to avoid inventory. But then what I found was it came to, it, there, it, there became other issues, which I'll talk about in the next point, actually, um, that really just chewed up so much time, I didn't really feel like it was worthwhile. So not having an inventory was important to me. I didn't want to build a gigantic business to the point where I had a huge, gigantic, uh, you know, a warehouse or factory that was producing things or stocking things or anything like that. I actually thought it was more valuable to be able to build a business without without that sort of stuff because then it means I, was, I wasn't geographically obligated to be where I needed to be. I could basically take my business anywhere I want in the world and I could create the content that was valuable and share it with people and they would buy, okay? And I've done this. I've, got, I've gone to the Philippines and made sales while I was in the Philippines, okay? Because it doesn't matter where I'm at. All that really matters is that I make this content available to you to be able to purchase what it is that I want to recommend, all right? And you can do the same thing. You can sign up to affiliate programs. You can produce content based upon the stuff that you want to um, recommend to people. And then you can make sales without holding a single thing in inventory. Super, super powerful in my opinion. It helps you. It allows you to be able to have a life and not be geographically obligated to be situated anywhere in particular, all right? So the second reason why this is the best business when you're starting out is you can create passive income. Yes, guys, this is a real thing. Right? I've spoken about this in other videos, but there was one video that I created about seven or eight years ago now that brought in a customer just last year that paid me over $1,500, right? $1,500. If that's not passive, I don't know what is. $1,500 from one person from one video that I created six years ago. Now, I know for a fact that he came from that video because once I got to know him, I asked him how he found me and he told me and there was that one video that I created on that particular topic that made him believe that I was an authority in that particular niche and as a result, he searched out my knowledge, my expertise and when I, was when I recommended what I was doing at that particular time, this was a year and a half ago now, he signed up and that gave me a, an ongoing monthly income of $100 plus some bigger ticket sales to boot. So over a span of 12 months, I had made $1,500 from that particular customer, right? So that's how you create passive income through affiliate marketing. It is super, super powerful in that sense. But obviously you've got to have the right products in place. Now, Amazon products, yes, they are passive in a sense, right? It's passive in the sense that you can create a review on a course or a product, and that product, as long as it's as good as it says it's going to be, you can make money, right? But it is a little bit more difficult. I would urge you more to find products to pr uh, to promote that, are, that have a recurring income built in them so that you can make ongoing sales with that easier. Because as I've mentioned here in this particular slide, it has never been more difficult to make a one-time sale, but it's also never been easier to make ongoing sales these days, right? And it starts from people being skeptical as well as all of these online hacks that have been happening. But by creating evergreen content, creating something that's valuable, like a video that I did, that's able to serve people a purpose for five, six, seven years down the line, you're still able to make sales from that one piece of content. Now imagine 
if you created one one small piece of content um, for five or six years and every single one of them brought you customers you know day in day out week in week out month in month in year in year out right imagine the momentum that you could build in three four five six years versus going to university and you know spending sixty seventy thousand dollars on a bachelor's coming out and having no guarantee of income. Obviously, it's the same thing with affiliate marketing. There is no guarantee of income, but you can't tell me that you couldn't build up a six-figure, multiple six-figure, if not a seven-figure business in that time frame, utilizing what we're teaching here, okay? So sorry, that wasn't a bass on the university. I just thought it was a good uh, opportunity to draw that comparison, okay? Now, there is no customer service or admin when it comes to affiliate marketing because the company handles every single one of those steps. There are issues that are ongoing with a product there are complaints that come through constantly there are refunds that you have to deal with there is so much admin and customer service work that comes with building a product okay i know this because i've done it all right i've done it and i did it and i made a lot of money don't get me wrong but if i was to draw that comparison especially when i'm starting out with affiliate marketing where i could just promote somebody else's product and if they buy they buy and i make income and if if there's issues the company deals with that that is a hell of a better way to start okay I know because again, I've gone through the process of creating an entire program that people have come into and there is a lot of work that goes into beyond just selling people to get involved with their program. There are a lot of issues that come on top of that. With affiliate marketing, the reasons why it's one of the best businesses you can start is that you can avoid all of that shit, okay? There's a lot of work and time and effort that goes into that sort of stuff and you can avoid all of it. So low startup costs and what i mean by that is you can start with basically any budget in mind whatever your budget is affiliate marketing can fit in too all right so if you want to start with free for example you can start on youtube or you can start on uh, instagram or you can start on facebook and you can start using your time instead of money to build this business that you want to build say for example if you've only got a hundred dollars to start out then with that hundred dollars you could actually have an email platform as well as a website for less than a hundred dollars that you can start putting content out in and onto that's going to help you build your business if you've got a thousand then you can get into uh, training courses you can get into coaching you can get into mentoring you can uh, get into building funnels through click funnels right there are different uh, different methods in which you can go now the more you invest the quicker you can build all right there's no doubt about that why because having a coach is going to help you avoid a lot of pitfalls and a lot of problems having a mentor is going to you know continue to inspire and motivate you to get to the higher levels that you need to reach having a thousand dollars to invest into a funnel and an email platform and a website and paid advertising is going to help you scale your business much faster than if you're just going to do it for free but wherever you're at and whatever whatever level of commitment you're at and whatever budget you have available you can start there and build from there on out which brings me up to the next point which is scalability through advertising you can build as large a business as you want to build okay and what i mean by that is that the thing is with doing it for free is that you only have a certain amount of time and say for example if all you do is one video and that sends them to one product and you're hoping that they buy right if you're able to run ads through affiliate marketing to get people to your videos or to your blog posts or whatever the case may be for you or uh, you might be sending them directly to a product but i assure you by the time you come to paid advertising you won't be sending people directly to products and you'll probably understand why if i talk about it a little bit further later on but here's the thing if you're to create 10 ads right and only two of them converts by convert i mean they're breaking even or making some sort of money then one of them actually makes profit that means you can can the eight video the eight ads that aren't working right so you cut your losses you test one so that you can see if you can turn it from breaking even to making a little bit of money or having a higher conversion rate then you increase the budget on the one that is working so say for example you spend a hundred dollars on these ten videos ten dollars each video one of them you know you spend a dollar you you make a dollar back one of them you spend a dollar and you make a dollar fifty now wouldn't it be smart to instead of just continuing to spend the the, the on all of those ten ads to can eight of them and spend say ninety dollars on the one that is that is actually already converting for you so now instead of um is instead of spending 90 uh sorry instead of spending 90 dollars and not making money or spending 90 dollars and making 90 dollars back i.e breaking even 
but you're now spending $90 and you're getting, what's that one times, uh, 1 1.5, that's, I think that's 140. Anyways, don't, don't quote me on that, I apologize. I should have had that ready for you. I think it might be $135. So say for, yes, say for example, you spend $90 on that one ad that does work, right? And you get a 50% return. So you get your $90 back plus, you know, $45 in profit, right? That's $135. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be worth scaling? So all of a sudden you're able to bump, say for example, you're able to bump that budget up from, from $10, you're able to bunch it up to a hundred. So now you're making $50 profit. If you're able to, to move that up to a thousand and now you're making $500 in profit. And it really is as easy as going in on uh, going in and increasing the amount that you're spending on your budget to make more profit. Okay. This is one of the first things that really, really, um, motivated me in terms of online business is the ability to be able to scale when you have the money, all right? And it's the same thing with affiliate marketing because you're essentially selling other people's products, which means if you sell a product, you make a profit. So therefore you can run an ad to see if people convert into that product and whether it's actually worth you increasing that profit, okay? And that's how I see the big dogs doing it. I see people putting in like $100 to test an ad, it works, then they bump it to 1,000. It continues to work, they bump it to 10,000. It continues to work, they bump it to 100. Okay, those might be crazy numbers for you, and even hundred thousand, you know, ten thousand is crazy for me, but that's how the big dogs do it, and that's what we can aspire to, i.e., mentorship. Okay, the uh, next point is having cheap overheads, and I, I love that this is such a good thing about online business, um, especially affiliate marketing, is that the ongoing costs are low. I've already touched earlier on about low startup costs. But that also means cheap overheads or cheaper ongoing costs, right? So having a website, for example, it's only like $10 a year to have a URL. Um, it's it's only like seven, eight, ten dollars a month to have hosting. It's only, uh, you know, uh, 15, anywhere from $15 to $50 a month, depending on what sort of email platform you want to use. But if you want to, you can go for free and then you can build from there depending on what sort of profits you have or how much money you have available in your budget to help build your business, right? This is a beautiful thing about affiliate marketing is the cheap overheads and the ability for you to be able to scale out what you're doing based on where you're at at this particular point in time, all right? So I've already talked, spoken about scalability. That was a mistake that shouldn't have been there, but you can build your brand, all right? This is something that I absolutely love. You need to be able to use your name or use a product name, but either way, it's yours. It's your baby, you're building it. You're the one who's going to benefit from this. I love the idea of building your brand because essentially that's what all the big businesses do. Nike, Adidas, Apple, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, they're all trying to build their own brand. They're all trying to get you to pay more attention to them so that they can make more money from you. Now, that might seem like a bad thing, but no, actually it's not because you can utilize that same method. It's, it's, everyone uses it, okay? So don't be ashamed or don't, don't feel like, oh no, I don't, you know, don't really just want to use people for money. No, that's fine. That's how you able to by by getting people to pay you more money, you're able to invest in better coaching, invest invest in better mentoring, in better courses that you can take, therefore bettering your knowledge and your value to the market. And then you're able to deliver those same people that paid for you, right? You're able to deliver bigger and better things for them. I hope that makes sense, okay? Because it really needs to sink in because a lot of people do have this sort of income uh, scarcity in the back of their mind that they don't want to look at people as, as money. And no, you absolutely shouldn't. You should be leaving, leading with value. But the, at the end of the day, this is affiliate marketing. This is a business. You got into this to make money and you're not going to make any money by giving out freebies all the time. All right. So I love the fact that you can build your brand whilst building this. And then because later on, I guarantee you, you're not going to do affiliate marketing forever. You evolve, your game plan changes, you become you become more aware of certain things, you want to branch off. But because you've used you or your particular product brand name, you're able to build it that it has so much value that when you transfer into other things, you're still able to monetize that and to leverage that to build a bigger business and make and make more money. All right. So look, I hope this video was valuable for you. If it was, I would really like to urge you to go ahead and click on the link below. It's going to take you to a four part video series that my mentor and I have put together for you, teaching you exactly how to make 10K per month whilst we do all of the hard work for you. All right. And if you love this video, make sure you subscribe and comment as I'll be releasing part two very, very shortly, giving you the other part, the second part of the 13 reasons why affiliate marketing is the perfect business to start with. Take care. Much love. And I will see you in the next one.